Ever wondered how wastewater is managed on a ship? It's more complex than you might think. The International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, MARPOL, is the convention that requires the proper management, treatment and disposal of black water and grey water on ships. MARPOL is a comprehensive convention that covers various aspects of marine pollution, including pollution from ships, and is administered by the International Maritime Organization, ENMO, a specialized agency of the United Nations. Under MARPOL Annex East 4, which specifically addresses pollution from sewage, ships are required to have a sewage treatment plant or holding tank to treat and store black water until it can be discharged in accordance with the regulations. Grey water is also subject to regulation under MARPOL Annex the 4th and must be treated and discharged in accordance with specific standards. Compliance with MARPOL regulations is mandatory for all ships engaged in international voyages and flag states are responsible for ensuring that their ships comply with the regulations. Port states may also inspect ships to verify compliance with MARPOL and may detain or fine ships that are found to be in violation of the regulations. In summary, the proper management, treatment and disposal of black water and grey water on ships is required by the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, MARPOL, specifically under Annex IV. Compliance with these regulations is mandatory for all ships engaged in international voyages and is enforced by flag states and port states. Ships produce two main types of wastewater. Black water and grey water, each type presents its own unique set of challenges and requires different treatment methods. From contamination levels to regulatory requirements, managing wastewater on a ship is a testament to human ingenuity and our commitment to preserving the environment. Stay tuned as we dive into the fascinating world of black and grey water treatment on ships. Let's start with black water the waste that gives ship engineers the most headaches. This is the stuff of nightmares, folks. It includes sewage, human waste, and other highly contaminated materials. Even the name sounds ominous, doesn't it? Now, treating black water is no small task. It requires a combination of biological processing and chemical disinfection. In biological processing, bacteria are used to break down organic matter. Then, to ensure no harmful organisms are left, the water is chemically disinfected. But the fun doesn't stop there. Because of its potential environmental impact, black water disposal is strictly regulated. Ships must adhere to international standards ensuring that this waste does not pollute our oceans. The stakes are high and the consequences of mismanagement can be severe. While black water poses considerable challenges, the story doesn't end here. Let's now turn our attention to grey water. Next, we have grey water. Although less contaminated than black water, it still requires careful management. This type of wastewater comes from showers, laundry and kitchen activities aboard the ship. It may not sound as menacing as black water, but don't be fooled. It can still contain harmful substances like oils, fats and microplastics that can harm marine life. To treat grey water, ships often use a combination of filtration and disinfection systems. Filtration removes larger particles, while disinfection, often through UV light or chemical methods, kills any lingering bacteria. It's a one-two punch to make the water safer for disposal. And let's not forget regulatory requirements. While less stringent than those for black water, they are still crucial for environmental protection. Ships must adhere to international maritime laws, ensuring their grey water doesn't contribute to pollution. So, whether it's black or grey, managing ship waste is a delicate balance of treatment and regulation. As we've seen, managing wastewater on a ship is no small task. The dark and murky world of black water, with its high contamination levels, is treated and disposed of differently from the lighter grey water. Each has its own unique challenges and regulatory requirements. But one thing's clear, both are crucial in preserving the health of our oceans. So, next time you're on a ship, spare a thought for the intricate processes that keep our waters clean. Until our next deep dive, stay curious. Thank you for watching, and I wish you a bon voyage and safe travels. I hope you found this information helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care and have a great journey.